said, you have been here 480 million years ago. That depends on whether you're a human being or an eternal light being that's temporarily in a human body. In this video, I'm going to talk about three possibilities. One, if you are simply a human being, could you have been here 480 million years ago? Two, if you are not simply a human being, but are actually a human being that reincarnates through many lifetimes, could you have been here 480 million years ago? And finally, number three, if you are actually an eternal light being who's temporarily in a human body, could you have been here 480 million years ago? But first, where is this here where I'm standing? But that it represents 480 million years ago. I'm standing on black limestone, the fossilized remains of the oldest reef on Earth, on Isle Lamotte. Beautiful Isle Lamotte is an island in Lake Champlain in the northwest corner of Vermont, close to the Canadian border. This black limestone was quarried in the 1800s to provide building stone for Radio City Music Hall in New York City and for the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. Okay, let's start with, if you are only a human being, were you here? 480 millions of years ago. Or anyway, I assume you are a human being. Are there any big feet or aliens watching this video? Okay, let's assume there's only human beings and that as a human being, you're gonna live, well, at the most, say, 120 years, okay? Well, were you here 480 million years ago? No, couldn't have been. <laughs> That's out of the question. So, could you have incarnated into a human body 480 million years ago? That would mean that there would have had to have been human beings alive on Earth that long ago. Modern human beings did not appear until about 100,000 years ago. There are no human bodies to incarnate into 480 million years ago. Not only that, even if you were an animal, you weren't here then either. Or a reptile, or a bird, or an insect. Hey, dinosaurs weren't even here yet. There was hardly any dry land on Earth. And whatever dry land there was, there was no life on it, just a few lichens, little small plants. The earth was mainly water at that time. There were a few continents, but they were mostly covered by shallow seas. So you only could have been here 480 million years ago if you were a very primitive sea creature. Is that possible? In fact, have you ever heard of transmigration? Many cultures throughout the earth believe in transmigration. Basically, that we reincarnate not only into human bodies, but also animal bodies. And therefore, it is possible that your soul or eternal essence could have been in a primitive sea creature 480 million years ago. Interesting. Now, what kind of primitive sea creatures would you have transmigrated into during that time? Let's take a look. For example, these gastropods, which are precursors of modern day snails and slugs. People who've been here before have been kind enough to put stones around the fossils. So there's still fossils all over the place, but they mark them like this. Here's a beautiful specimen right there. Isn't that gorgeous? Looks just like a snail, doesn't it? I 
think this is a cephalopod, the precursors of modern day squid and octopus. It's, uh, you know, it rained last night, so it's kind of wet inside, but it sure looks like an amazing, interesting creature when it was alive. Or what about the strange stromatoporoid, which is right here in this rock behind me. You see this fossil here? It is the ancestor of today's sea sponges. If you had transmigrated into one of these creatures 480 million years ago, that would mean that you would have been alive then and you would have enjoyed the experience of quivering in ocean currents or wriggling like this present day sea slug. You would have oozed, slid, crawled, and swam in the water among the vegetation in the reef. Okay, let's go on to the third case scenario, which is what I experienced in my past life regression sessions. Could you have been here 480 million years ago? If you are actually an eternal light being that is only temporarily in a human body now. Well, of course you could have been here. I'm Carol Ann Chapman, the author of When We Were Gods. It is my purpose to awaken the golden ones. The golden ones are souls who decided while they were in Atlantis to reincarnate now when we are again on the brink of self-annihilation to be of help and to bring in a new world. How am I awakening the Golden Ones? By telling these stories of our beginnings on Earth and our experiences in Atlantis. Are you one of the Golden Ones? If so, contact me on my website, carolchapmanlive.com at the contact button. The link is down below in the description. This is a video for the Golden Ones.